Okay, so hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Just getting back from NAM 2023. What an experience. If you weren't there, highly encourage you to get there next year. Uh, according to the promotions that they put out so far, it will be coming to Southern California in January of 2024. A little bit earlier than this year. Uh, this year was in April, but what an experience. I met a lot of people, learned a lot, got to demo a lot of the different uh equipment that was there, a few consoles and some instruments. Great experience. I met some people from Solid State Logic, Rupert Neve, Dangerous Music. It, it was overwhelming, overwhelming. But anyway, back to this video. Um, the reason why I call this video the Rupert Neve 542 underappreciated and misunderstood, you'll come to understand that as I go along. Basically, Rupert Neve has advertised this module and promoted it as a tape emulation module. And that's exactly what it does. It, it emulates the old school, uh, for instance, the Tascam TRSA or TSR8. I don't really remember how those letters go, but it emulates those old school reel-to-reel -reel tape machines. And I had one. I had the Tascam TSR8, uh, which was an 8-track, again, reel-to-reel, -reel, and you would do your recordings on the reels and then bounce them down to a two-track for your master. True analog recording. Now, of course, I'm going back some, wow, 25, 30 years ago at this point, and I have since gotten rid of my TSR rate, and I do truly, I, I regret getting rid of it because the sound that came out of that thing was like nothing that I've heard since, as far as analog is concerned. However... Rupert Neve has now come out with the 542 tape emulator. Now, it does exactly what it says it does. It will and it will emulate old-school reel-to-reel tape machines. That's exactly what it's intended to do. And you have your choice of either 15 IPS or 30 IPS. That's what it's promoted to do. And it does it, and it does it very well. However... The reason why I say that this module is so underrated and underappreciated is simply because there's so much more that it does. I have one, one of the modules, and I'm getting ready to buy a second one because I want to put it on a stereo bus and just make things sound absolutely incredible. But what it does, not only is it a tape emulation module, but it also gives you the ability to use Silk Red or silk blue, and it has a saturation on it. So it really gives you a few different things that you can use this for. And when I talk, talk about silk red and silk blue alone, those two things alone make this module well worth the price. And I believe it's like $869, uh, somewhere around there. If you're using silk red, that's going to give you a bump on the high end. And if you're using silk blue, it's going to give you a bump on the, the mid lows, or I should say the low mids. That's the proper way to say it. Uh, but aside from that, let me give you an example. I had a track that I was working on for a client, and I was going through and remixing his uh, drum tracks. And I noticed that however they had it mic'd at the time, that the I couldn't quite hear the hi-hats. But I could hear the drummer in the background working on the hi-hats and everything else that he was doing. But the hi-hats just weren't coming out enough. I took the 542 and I sent the hi-hat track to the 542. Mind blown. All of a sudden, I could hear everything that this drummer was doing with those hi-hats. Had I not put that 542 on the hi-hats, never would have heard the work that this man was doing. And now, I'm not a drummer. I am a guitarist and a semi-keyboard player by, by craft. But that being said, I can't really tell you what he was doing in technical terms because, again, I'm not a drummer. But to hear the difference, and not just the difference in the sound quality that the 542 provided, but the difference in what I was hearing. That drummer do with those hi-hats, all of a sudden, I heard every little out of those hi-hats. I heard it, and it was crystal clear. Now, when I say crystal clear, remember something, that 
using silk red, and that's what you should be using on a high hat or a symbol or on your overhead. You want to use the silk red because it brings out the highs, but it also brings out the highs and it's semi, I, I hesitate to say this because I know I'm going to get a lot of feedback and flack about this, but it semi, semi compresses the sound, which means it smooths everything out. And that's what it did with the hi-hats. It smoothed everything out. It made them louder. And it added a little touch of dirt as well. Just a little touch, not much. And you can control how much of that that you want to apply to the particular track with the 542. And I'll show you that. It's in the rack behind me here. I'll show it to you in just a moment. But this is the type of thing that you can do with this 542 module. That's just the hi-hats. I also like to use it on overheads. And I like to use it on the snare drum. Because that snare drum, sometimes you want that thing to snap. The 542... Not only does it make that snare drum snap, but it, you can hear it and it's loud and it's in your face and it's just right there where it should be. On the bass drum, the kick drum, same thing. Makes it nice and deep, gives it that analog saturation and warmth that only analog can give you. And it just makes the drum sound so much better, but that's not all. If you have, like I, I've heard other people say wimpy vocals, <laughs> We all know what they are. You, you've dealt with them before. The, the, the vocalist just seems to be afraid to step up to the mic and start singing. So you end up with this wimpy vocal and you need to bring it to the front in the center where it needs to be. The 542 does just that. If you're working on a male vocal, you can use either silk red or silk blue. But if you're working on a female vocal, you're probably going to want to stick with silk red. Then... You can punch in that tape emulator and add some analog warmth to that vocal as well. It's just, the term has been used so many times and I hesitate to use it, but it is a Swiss army knife. It is a workhorse. All the different things that you can do with this module. And I'm so glad I purchased it. I did a lot of reading and a lot of research and I watched some other YouTube videos and read some of the reviews on sweetwater.com. And some people, it, it just seems like you either love this thing or you hate this thing. For the folks that love it, they get it. They understand what they have. For the folks who hate this thing, take your time. Learn what this can do. Experiment, experiment with it a little bit more and find out exactly what you have. This thing is unbelievable. Again, Silk Red. Silk blue, tape emulation, and saturation all in one module, depending on how you use it. I love this thing. Rupert Neve, you are an amazing company. Keep hitting us with this stuff. I'm looking forward to see what you're coming out with next. But right now, I'm going to show you just a, a very brief. I don't do demonstrations of sound here on my YouTube videos, and for obvious reasons. Well, maybe not obvious to you, but for reasons that if you don't realize it, you can't really hear much of anything on YouTube. And not taking it away from YouTube, they're a great company. What they do is fantastic, and they've opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people. But when it comes to doing sound demos of, of analog gear and saying, oh, hey, well, let me hit Silk Red. Hear you the difference? Let me hit Silk Blue. Do you hear the difference? You can't really hear it on YouTube. You got to hear it for yourself. Head over to your, your local music store. Visit Sweetwater. The guys there are amazing and they're always very helpful and very patient with you. Sit down, listen to this thing and get a true understanding of what this thing sounds like and everything that I've discussed here and what it can do. So again, a little bit long-winded there, but I'm not going to give you a demo of the sound of the 542 because you're just not going to hear it on YouTube. However, I will tell you, your ears will be amazed when you sit down and listen to this thing for yourself. It gets loud, it gets dirty, it gets creamy. It's the things that it does for the highs and the lows, just amazing. And it's just a fun module to use. But enough, enough of me talking, let me show you this module. Okay, so here we have the 542. You see I have the Neve 511 next to it, another great preamp that Neve makes and everything that Neve makes is just, outstanding but we're, we're talking about the 542 today so let's stick with that 
Um, and again, excuse my camera work. I am not a video maker. I make some videos and post them on YouTube. My thing is making music, I'm not a video maker. So please excuse the quality and the shaky hand holding my phone while I try to video this for you. But anyway, here's the 542. And you see that we have a trim button here on the top. We have the saturation, which I spoke to just below the trim button. And then just below that, we have the blend. Now, the blend is, is pretty cool. It actually works the same way you use a blend knob on a compressor. You can either add to or subtract from the amount of saturation that you're putting on a certain track. And then at the very bottom, we have the texture knob. And the texture knob, again, is just how much of the silk red or silk blue do you want to add? So you can make that adjustment. Now, here, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up since we're talking about silk red and silk blue with this texture knob. Here's your silk red and silk blue button. Very simple. Press it in. You have red. Press it again. You have blue. Press it again. You have none of them. So you can create a track and say, I just want to use silk red on this female vocal. Done. Just above that, you have your IPS, which gives you a choice of 15 or 30. Now, and I've seen the videos on YouTube and I've seen guys that make mistakes with this. And I understand that sometimes, you know, you just overlook things and you might say something incorrectly. But here's the gig. When you're using the tape in effect, if you punch it in and you're on 30 IPS, you need to be using silk blue. On the other hand, if you're using IPS 15, you need to be using silk red. Now. As we know with mixing and mastering and as audio engineers, there are no rules to the game. You can do whatever you want. As long as it sounds good to your ears and to your client's ears, you can do what you want. However, this is the way the module was intended to be used. Then, just above your IPS button, you have your tape effect. You could either take it out or you can take it in. I'm not going to go through a complete demo of this. There are tons of them already out there on YouTube. So if you want to take a look at a demonstration of how everything works and what it sounds like, which again, you're not going to hear on YouTube anyway, but go ahead and take a look at those other videos that are out there. And there's some guys out there, I can't think of any offhand right now, that do a really good job with their video reviews. Uh, but yeah, there it is. There's, there's your 542. Again, saturation, silk red, silk blue, or nothing. This thing right here, that saturation knob, is killer so again don't just think of this 542 as just a tape emulation device it is so much more when you learn how to use it hey thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe stick around wait for my next video i've got a ton of them coming out for you i'm new here on youtube trying to establish my presence so if you could like and subscribe and let your friends know about me i would really appreciate it Again, I'm not going to do a lot of demos on modules. I'm going to talk about them intelligently and give you an idea of what they do and how to use them other than what they're intended to do. Because there's a ton of videos already out there on, on how to use something and pushing buttons and seeing this and seeing that. You don't need to see any more of that. You need something different. I'm also going to be doing interviews uh, with uh, industry giants I'm going to be doing interviews with um, people over at Solid State Logic and Rupert Neve and a few other things that I've got in the pipeline that will be coming out. I'm also going to be doing tours of their facilities. So stick around, like, subscribe, G-Sharp Jams. Make sure you make it to NAM 2024 because 2023 was outstanding. G-Sharp Jam Studio, FX Studio 2, the real deal. See you soon.